it was written off as extinct. Now, after 700,000 years, Iran's Taftan volcano has started to rise. Satellite radar confirmed nine centimeters of ground uplift between July 2023 and May 2024. Each radar pass from the European Sentinel-1 satellites measured the summit to within millimeters. The numbers held. Taftan was moving. The signal came from a small zone less than two kilometers across near the summit. Modeling placed the pressure source about 600 meters below the surface, shallow enough to reach by drilling, yet deeper than any recorded vent activity. That's where the pressure is building. Nothing external triggered it. No major earthquakes. No storms. No rainfall anomalies. The timing rules all of that out. The deformation began quietly in mid-July, spread over 10 months, and stopped in late May. But the ground never settled back. The inflation is still there. By early 2024, residents in Kash, 50 kilometers away, started reporting the smell of sulfur. Four distinct gas bursts were recorded. January 23rd, February 14th, May 16th, and May 28th. The strongest carried sulfur dioxide that registered on orbital spectrometers and drifted southeast across the desert. Scientists led by Pablo Gonzalez at the Spanish National Research Council confirmed the deformation and called it spontaneous unrest. Their analysis identified a hydrothermal system sealed beneath the summit. Hot fluids and trapped gases are accumulating in that space, lifting the surface as pressure builds. The deeper magma body, between three and nine kilometers down, remains quiet. What's changing is the layer above it, a fractured mix of rock and mineral veins that now acts like a pressure vessel. If that seal breaks, the release will be sudden. Not a lava eruption, but a phreatic blast. Rock, ash, and superheated steam. Those events hit without warning. One similar explosion at Ontake in Japan in 2014 killed 63 hikers in less than two minutes. Taftan sits inside the Makran Arc, a fault zone born from the collision of the Arabian and Eurasian plates. The same region produced the 1945 magnitude 8.1 quake and a regional tsunami. This arc was always considered low risk because its volcanoes were thought to be ancient remnants. That assumption is gone now. The research team stresses that no instruments are on the ground at Taftan. No seismometers, no GPS stations, no real-time gas sensors. Everything we know comes from space-borne data. If activity accelerates, there will be no local warning. By the time the radar shows more uplift, it may already be too late. Taftan isn't alone. Krasheninikov in Russia erupted in August 2025, its first in five centuries. Iceland's Reykjanes belt fractured and erupted after 800 years, Edgecombe in Alaska, Alaid in the Kurils, and Kanleon in the Philippines have all reactivated within the last few years. Different continents, same signal. Long dormant systems swelling, venting gas, and showing shallow pressure zones where none were seen before. The profiles match. Steady uplift, heat increase, no return to baseline. Across the planet, Tectonic stress is redistributing as surface weight changes. Ice melt, groundwater loss, and shifting oceans are easing pressure on the crust. When that load lifts, magma and gas expand upward. What used to take centuries is happening within decades. Tafton fits perfectly into that pattern. A shallow zone repressurizing, gas release, surface uplift that refuses to fall. Scientists are tracking more of these quiet awakenings every year. Each event might stay small, but together they point to a larger shift, that the crust straining under global adjustment. Pressure is moving faster than the systems built to track it. Dormant is turning active. The balance beneath us is breaking. The planet may be entering a dangerous stage.